Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Davy, and today I'm sharing with you my flowers in front and behind my house in my backyard. So just right over here, I am going to just kind of show you and if you have questions about some certain flowers, put them in the comments below. Um, I'll try to mention a few of the types of flowers that I'm using. I'm in South Dakota, so I'm in zone four, but I'm just gonna kind of show you what I have. Landscaping is new this year. Those are little Dollar Tree lights and I love them. They work so well. I just have a hanging basket here. This rod was left from the previous owners. I have some more um, moss roses, some poppies, some more marigolds. Do not remember really, but they fill in really well. And then here I have a sage plant. Um, and I just put these in this year. I have some native grasses. Then these are some yellow daylilies. I love those. Another native grass here. And there. So this is the front of my house right there. And I just love how it looks. It is not full of flowers but these will fill in as they grow. So that is how I have my front decorated and I just love the simplicity of it. So I'm gonna take you to the backyard. All right, back here on our cement patio, this is actually some spinach and kale. And then here, another, that was a Christmas Dollar Tree light, but I love having the spikes here in the middle, just the height and then this is a really tall snapdragon, um, another viney plant, some Nora alyssum, and then some moss roses there, and some petunias. So that is in that big pot. And then in this one, um, I didn't have enough flowers in there, so I just put some rocks in there, but I think it looks really nice and pretty. And this basket was actually left from the previous owners. And then I have a few flowers down there that I need to put in someplace, but um, I like how I have that little corner and I can see it from my patio over here on this thrifted ladder that I got. If you haven't seen that haul, I'll put it in the description box. But here I have some more of these petunias and then some more foliage. And then down in this one, this one probably doesn't get quite enough sunlight, some marigolds and a petunia. And I just planted that yesterday, so that one is not filled in yet. And a thrifted terracotta plant, a planter, of course, have to have that. Um, just some fun, colorful flowers here. All right, and there's that. And I just have a lot of shade plants. As you can tell, it gets very shady over here. Um, some of those items on the wall, like that's a Dollar Tree item. I got that in Arizona. That was my mom's. I got that little bird feeder free, and I just don't have <laughs> bird seed in it. But these are all perfect for shade. Just some grasses that fill in, a hosta, things like that. This is another daylily, and all these plants here I took from family and just dug them up and split them. And I think that's the best way to actually do it because then you don't have to pay for your plants. Okay, I have shown you my deck decor. And here are some more of the planters I have in here. Just wanted to kind of give you a look of how they've filled out. That 
is my flower tour. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you haven't subscribed yet to my little YouTube community, don't forget to do that. I would love to have you join, especially if you're a thrifter and a DIYer and if you like um, house projects and organizing and things like that, as well as give this video a thumbs up because that lets me know that you care. And also comment below some of your favorite flowers to plant. I'd love to hear that. All right, I hope you have a blessed and wonderful day. Bye.